Hi friends, in this tutorial series, we'll be implementing examples using Spring Boot 3 and gRPC. In this tutorial, we'll be implementing a real-world chat application using Spring Boot 3 and bidirectional streaming gRPC call. For this, I'll be taking reference of my website javanews.com. So go to Spring, Spring Boot 3. In Spring Boot 3, go to Spring Boot 3 gRPC examples. The tutorial that we'll be implementing today is Spring Boot 3 gRPC bidirectional streaming example. In a previous tutorial, we looked at Spring Boot 3 gRPC client streaming example. You can go through this tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be implementing Spring Boot gRPC bidirectional streaming call. So a bidirectional streaming gRPC, it is a communication pattern in which both the client and the server, they can send multiple messages to each other in a continuous stream. So bidirectional gRPC streaming, it allows real-time two-way communication between the client and the server. This bidirectional gRPC streaming pattern, it is commonly used in scenarios where there is a need for ongoing interactive communication. So for example, in a gaming application, multiple players might need to continuously interact with each other. In such a scenario, bidirectional streaming gRPC is used. Other scenario is the autocomplete feature in Google search. So whenever the user he types some word in Google search, the search engine it immediately returns back the possible options which the user may select. For this tutorial, we'll be implementing the following scenario. We'll be having a banking service where the client it chats with the bank customer service. So the bank client it can send multiple chats to the bank server and the bank server can respond back with multiple chat responses to the bank client and this we implemented using the gRPC bidirectional streaming call for the chat application using bidirectional gRPC streaming we'll be implementing the following conversation between the bank client and the bank server the client will send a message hi to the server and the server it will respond back with hello how can I help you today the client will then respond back with I need to know my account balance and the server acknowledges this request and sends a message ok please type the OTP received on your registered phone number Next, if the client gives the OTP as 5050, then the server it will respond back with OK, the account balance is 300. If the client he sends the OTP other than 5050, then the server will respond back with invalid OTP. Let us begin with the implementation part. So, we'll first be implementing the Spring Boot bidirectional streaming gRPC server. For this, we'll be creating a new Maven project in Eclipse. So, go to Eclipse and create a new Maven project. Here, go to other Maven project. Create a simple project. Group ID, give it as com.java use. Artifact ID will be boot bidirectional streaming gRPC server. Next in the pond.xml, we'll be adding the required dependencies. The first is the Spring Boot Starter Parent dependency. This dependency provides default configuration dependencies and plugins that are commonly used in Spring Boot applications. The next is the gRPC server Spring Boot Starter dependency. This dependency provides the necessary components to integrate and run a gRPC server within a Spring Boot application. Next we have the gRPC stub dependency. This dependency it provides the classes and utilities for creating and using gRPC stubs which are used to make remote procedure calls. The next dependency is gRPC protobuf dependency. This dependency provides support to define and exchange structured data between our gRPC client and server. And finally we have the annotations API dependency. This dependency provides the necessary annotations for Java code generated by the protobuf maven plugin. Finally in the pond.xml we define the protobuf maven plugin. Using this plugin, we auto-generate the required gRPC classes using the proto file defined in the source main proto folder. So let us make these changes to the pom.xml. Copy this. So let us make these changes to the pom.xml. Copy this. Next in the source main proto folder, we'll be creating a proto buff file named bankservice.proto. So a proto file in gRPC, it is a special type of file that helps define the structure and communication between the different software components. So it acts like a blueprint for creating and interacting with the different gRPC components. The gRPC proto file, it is language agnostic and we'll be having the same proto file at both the client and the server end. So let us have a look at the proto file. So in the proto file, we have a message named chat message. So this chat message, it represents a request that is sent by the client to the server. So this chat message, it has two members. First is the sender that is always sending this chat message. And the second is the message that is the actual request that is sent by the client to the server. Then once the server, it receives this uh, chat message, it will respond back with a chat response. Again, this has two members. The first is the sender that is who is sending this chat response. And the second is the message that is the actual response. So at the server end, we'll be defining a service named chat service, which will have a method named start chat, which will take a parameter chat message, which is of type stream. And the start chat, it will return back a chat response, which is again of type stream. So let us create this proto file. Go to source, main here, create a new folder proto. Inside this proto, create a new proto file. Bank service proto. Paste it here. Next, we'll be creating the Spring Boot Bootstrap class using which we'll be starting the gRPC server. So this class, it makes use of the Spring Boot application annotation. 
So let us create this class. Go to Eclipse, create a new class. Package will be com.javanews.bank. Copy the contents of this class. In the pom.xml, we have the protobuf maven plugin which reads the protobuf file we have defined in source main proto folder. We have bankservice.proto. This will auto generate the gRPC classes required for communication between the gRPC client and server. So go to pom.xml, run as maven build, and here use the command eclipse colon eclipse clean install. Here the build is successful, and in the target folder, the gRPC classes they are auto generated. Next, for the gRPC server, we'll be creating a class named chat stream observer. So this class it will be responsible for reading the streaming chat messages that are sent by the client. So this class it implements the stream observer interface of type chat message. The stream observer interface it has three methods on next, on error and on completed. So the chat stream observer it will need to implement these three methods. The on next method is responsible for continuously reading the incoming streaming data and processing it. Once all the streaming data has been consumed then the on completed method will get called. If during the on next method where it is continuously reading the streaming data any exception or error occurs then the on error method will be called. Also in the constructor of the chat stream observer we pass a stream observer of type chat response named response observer. Using this response observer we will be sending the response back to the client. So let us have a look at the on next method which is responsible for reading the streaming data of type chat message. So in the on next method we receive the chat message. From this chat message we get the sender and also the message. Next we process this message. So currently I have written hard coded logic for processing this message. But usually some other logic will be used here. So here what I do is if the message is high then I send a response hello how can I help you today. If the message is I need to know my account balance then I send the response ok please type the OTP received on your mobile. If the OTP written back by the client is 5050 then the server will respond back as the account balance is 300. If the OTP is something different than 5050 then it will be invalid OTP. Again, I've used some hard-coded logic to read the messages and give a response. Usually some other logic will be used to respond to the message. And finally, using the response observer, we send back the response to the client. So let us create this chat stream observer class. Go to Eclipse and create a new class. Package will be com.javanews.bank.service. Copy the contents of this class. Next, we create a class named chat service server. For this class we make use of the grp service annotation which exposes this as a service over the grpc channel. Also this chat service server class it will extend the chat service grpc dot chat service impl base class. So this chat service impl base class is actually the implementation of the chat service that we have defined here. So this chat service it has a start chat method. So here we'll be overriding the start chat method that is provided in this chat service impl base. In the start chat method, we'll be returning a new instance of the chat stream observer that we had just defined above. So let us create this chat service server class. Go to Eclipse and create a new class. Copy the contents of this class. Finally, in the application.properties configuration file, we'll be specifying the gRPC port configuration. So we want the gRPC server to start on port 8090. So we need to specify this property gRPC.server.port as 8090. So go to Eclipse, source main resources and create a new file, application.properties, paste this configuration. So we are done with all the coding changes required for the bidirectional streaming gRPC server. Let us now test this gRPC server. So let us start the gRPC server, run as Java application. Here the gRPC server it has started on port 8090. Next we will be making use of the Bloom RPC client. So for this I need to pass the location of the proto file to the Bloom RPC, copy this location. Go to Bloom RPC, mail service dot proto. So here we have the start chat method. So we'll be sending this message to the server. So the sender will be naming it as Java News. This will be the client name. The message will be hi. So this will be sent to the server. So here the bidirectional streaming it has started. So here the server it has got the message hi and it has responded back with hello. How can I help you today? The next message that will be sent by the Client to the server will be, I need to know my account balance. So here it will send this message. So let us push this data. So here the server it has now received the message, I need to know my account balance and it has responded back with, okay, please type the OTP received on your registered phone number. So let us give the OTP as 5050. Let us now push this data. So now, the server it has received this and now it is responding back with ok the account balance is 300. Let us stop the streaming. So our bidirectional gRPC streaming server it is working properly.
Next, we'll be creating the Spring Boot bidirectional streaming gRPC client. So again, this will be a Maven project. For this, go to Eclipse. And here, we create a new Maven project. Create a simple project. Group ID will be com.java news. Artifact ID will be Boot bidirectional streaming gRPC client. Here, the client Maven project has been created. Next, in the pom.xml, we'll be adding the required dependencies. So these required dependencies are exactly the same that we have added in the server pom.xml. Copy this. And use it here. Also here we need to add the proto file. So for this create a new folder. Proto. And the proto file that we use both at the server and the client end is the same. So copy the proto from here. Next, we'll be creating the Spring Bootstrap class using which we'll be starting the client application. So for this, we make use of the Spring Boot application annotation. Let us create this class. Go to Eclipse and create a new class. Package will be com.java in use. Dot bike. Next, copy the contents of this class. So similar to what we have done for the server, the client in the pom.xml, it also has the protobuf maven plugin which makes use of the proto file defined in the source main proto and auto generates the gRPC classes. So let us do this. So run as maven build eclipse colon eclipse clean install. So here the build is successful. If you now refresh this client project, here in the target we can see that the gRPC classes have been auto generated. Next in the gRPC client, we'll be creating a service class named chat service client. So this chat service client, it will have a method named send message. In this method, we create a manage channel to connect to the gRPC server, which will be running on the address localhost 8090. Next, using the auto generated gRPC classes, we create a stub named async stub of type chat service gRPC dot chat service stub. Also, when creating the stub, we make use of the manage channel that we just created above. Using the async stub, the client it will send streaming data to the server. Also the client, it will need to continuously listen to the streaming data that is sent by the server to the client. So for this, we create an instance of the stream observer of type chat response, which is the message that is sent by the server to the client. So in this response observer instance, we override the on next, on error and the on completed methods. In the on next method, which is responsible for reading and processing the streaming chat response messages, we will be printing out the chat response sender and the chat response message. And finally, in the on completed method, we shut down the manage channel that we had created. Next, using the builder pattern, we'll be creating the chat messages that we want to send from the client to the server. So here we create multiple chat messages that are created by the client and sent to the server. So the sender, it will always be client. And messages we have, the ones that we discussed before, that is, hi, I need to know my account balance, the OTP, which is 50-50, and finally some invalid OTP. Next, using the async stub, we send these messages to the server. And also once these messages are sent, Using the response observer, we continuously listen to the incoming streaming messages that are sent by the server as a response to these chat messages. So let us create this class, chat service client. Go to Eclipse and create a new class. Package will be com.java and use .bind service. See the contents of this class. Finally, we'll be modifying the Spring Boot Bootstrap class to call the send message of the chat service client. So here we have created the chat service client which has the send message which will be calling when the Spring Boot application it starts. So let us make these changes. So here on startup we want to call the send message of the chat service client. So we are done with all the coding changes. Let us now test the client. First I will be starting the gRPC server. So here the gRPC server it has started on port 8090. Let us now start the client application. So the client application it will print the messages that the server has sent. So here the client, it is uh, printing the responses that it has returned from the server. So the sender is server and these are the messages that it has received from the server. So bidirectional streaming gRPC server and client, they are working code. Hope you have understood this tutorial. You can download the source code from here. Thank you.